Hello everyone, welcome to formula story. In my previous video, I discussed a technique for multiplying two digit numbers using Vedic maths. The link of the same you can find in the description box. In this video, I'll be carry forwarding the same technique for three digit numbers. So let's begin. Now see for three digit numbers, these matrix that are given represents these steps. There are total five steps involved in multiplying these three digit numbers using the Vedic math technique. The first step is multiplying 1 times 1 vertically. The second step is multiplying 1 times 2 and 3 times 1 and adding the products. The third step is multiplying 1 times 1, then 1 times 1 and then 2 times 3 and adding all the products. The fourth step is multiplying 3 times 1 and 1 times 2 and adding the products. And the last and the final step is multiplying 1 times 1. So let's apply these steps to multiplication of 121 times 131. So the first step is multiplying 1 with 1 and you get, let me take my pen, multiplying 1 with 1 and you get 1. The second step as we can see here is multiplying 1 with 2 and 3 with 1 and adding the product. So 2 plus 3 is 5. The third step is multiplying 1 with 1 then again 1 with 1 and multiplying 2 with 3 and adding the products. So 1 plus 1 plus 6 gives me 8. The next step is multiplying 3 with 1 and 1 with 2. So and adding the products. So 3 plus 2 gives me 5. And our final step is multiplying the rightmost digits which is 1 into 1. So 1. So our final answer is 15851. As simple as that. See, this method of multiplying three digit numbers might seem a bit wishy-washy in the beginning. Like these matrix might seem a bit weird, but trust me, there's a pattern here. It's the first digits from the right. Then the cross multiplication is the second step. Then again, cross multiplying and the central digits. Then the fourth step is the second most digits and the third most digits cross multiplying and the fifth fifth step is multiplying the leftmost digits. See, once you remember these steps, it'll be really easy to multiply three digits numbers and you'll be able to do the multiplication in probably half the time which you take conventionally. So I would recommend you all to remember this method and let's look at one more example for more clarity. Now let's look at this example of multiplying 362 times 134. Before I begin solving this, just remember one thing that except for the final step, which is the fifth step, all the other steps, which are steps 4, 3, 2 and 1, if by multiplying the numbers and adding the products, if you get the total greater than 9, then you will carry forward the tenth digit one place to the left and retain the units digit as it is. Let's solve this to clarify what I'm saying. Oh, the first step is multiplying 2 into 4, which gives me 8. Now that's less than 9. The second step is multiplying 6 into 4 plus 3 into 2. So 24 plus 6, which is 30. So I'll retain the units digit here and carry forward the tenth digit, which is 3, one place to the left. Now a third step is 4 into 3 plus 1 into 2 plus 6 into 3. 4 into 3 is 12. 1 into 2 is 2, 12 plus 2 is 14, plus 18. 18 plus 14 is 32. So I'll retain the units digit here and carry forward the tens digit which is 3, one place to the left. Now our fourth step is 3 into 3, plus 6 into 1, 9 plus 6 which is 15. Again units digit will stay as it is and the tens digit will be carry forwarded one place to the left. Now comes the final step. It's 3 into 1 which gives me 3. See now in our final step on multiplying, we didn't get a number greater than 9. So we didn't have to carry forward or do anything. Even if in case it was 3 times 8 and we would have got 24, we would have kept 2 and 4 as it is. Because the final step is our end of the multiplication. So we need not carry forward anything. We'll look one more example for the same. Uh, now we need to add this. So on adding we get 8 will remain as it is. 0 will remain as it is. 2 plus 3 gives me 5, 5 plus 3 gives me 8, and 3 plus 1 gives me 4. 48508 is our answer. See, once you memorize this 
matrix like these methods how do you go about with the multiplication then multiplying three digit numbers will become really fast and i would recommend you all to practice a lot of examples to become really fast at this method let's look at one last example now now suppose if you have to multiply 412 by 312 the first step is multiplying 2 times 2 which gives me 4 the next step is multiplying 2 into 1 plus 2 into 1 and adding the products you get 4 the third step is 2 into 4 plus 3 into 2 plus 1 into 1 so 8 plus 6 which is 14 plus 1 which is 15 as i said you retain the units digit and carry forward the tens digit one place to the left now the fourth step is 4 into 1 plus 3 into 1 which is 7 and the last step is multiplying 4 into 3. Now, as I said in the previous example, in the last step, even if you get a number on multiplying greater than 9, then you need not carry forward anything. You'll keep that as it is because that's the end of our multiplication. So, we'll keep 12 as it is. And our final answer will be the sum of all the carry forwards. So, 4 will be as it is. 4 will be as it is. 5 as it is. 7 plus 1 gives me 8. This will be 2 year and this will be 1 year. So, 1, 2, 8, 5, double 4 is our answer. See, this method will even be useful if, if you have to multiply two digit number with a three digit number. Suppose the question was multiplying, sorry, multiplying 4, 24 times 45. So, all you can do is add a zero here and repeat the same steps which you follow for three digit numbers and you'll get the correct answer. So that's it people, I will come up with more interesting videos, till then do like my video and subscribe to my channel and also post your valuable feedback so that I can improve at my upcoming videos. Thank you.